Hi there, in this video, I want to show you how you can protect your ARS devices that are connected to the cloud by using an API key. So let me explain. I will show you what is a, a like typical ARS catch, okay? And in those catch, you can actually set the ID of your devices, okay? So this will basically identify your devices on the cloud. However, Anybody could then actually use the same ID, right? There is no way to actually protect your ID when you set it this way. No, that's great for like prototyping just to test out the API because it's completely free. You don't even need to create an account. However, to make some more, um, you know, like complex projects or whenever you actually want to use uh, your project in real life applications, it's better to protect your devices then only you can actually access them. Plus, uh, in terms of storage, okay, if you want to store data on the cloud dashboard, and uh, like the not protected devices are very limited because then anybody can could actually access your data. So because of that, um, the data storage part is very limited on non-protected devices. So in this video, I really want to show you how to actually use an ARS API key to protect your devices. So what we'll do is go inside the cloud dashboard. So at dashboard.ars.io, create an account, it's for free of course. And if you didn't create an account yet, I invite you to check my other videos uh, to see how to create an account and also to use the dashboard. So what I'm interested in here is this part here, which is called uh, the account tab at uh, slash account. And basically here, what I have is my API key. So what this will do is that I can use that to actually protect my devices. So we'll try that immediately. And I will show you how you can set it up inside the code and also how you can um, use that then to, to access your devices. So for now, we have no devices uh, connected that are protected by a key. We, as we can see here, we have zero. We didn't use any of um, of the scenes in our plan. So I will show you that immediately how to use it. So let's do here again, you have this sketch here. And um, this is basically a sketch that you can find inside the ARS library. So if you install the library, you can go then to examples, ARS, and you have all of those here. So this one is actually um, like, adapted from this one called Cloud API Key. I will use an ESP board here. So it is already connected to uh, my computer. So I just connected the ESP board itself without anything on it um, because I don't need it here. I just want to show you how to um, use the API key. So here in this sketch, uh, which is like a typical ARS sketch, you can see that here I grayed out this part, which is called uh, set key. And that's because I didn't use it before, but now I actually use it. So I need to define this key somewhere in the sketch. Um, so here, what I will do is simply create a new variable called key. Device ID, I will modify it slightly to be sure to take one that uh, I can probably ne nobody ever took before. And I will go inside the account. I will just copy the API key that's given by the dashboard. By the way, this API key is like automatically generated uh, whenever you create a new account. And then it's, it's like fixed for your account. So great, we now have everything. And what I will do is make sure that I have the right board selected. So I will go in tools. I have the right board here. I am on the right uh, serial port to upload this code and I will just upload the code now. So let's do that. I will just hit the upload button. So what should happen now is that the device will connect to the cloud, uh, but now it will be actually like protected by this API key, right? So what I will do is I will check in my dashboard that I actually see the device. And once this is done, I will also try to access it. Okay. 
Great, so now the code has been uploaded to the board, so let me go back to the dashboard. And now you can see that already inside um, my account here, I have one device over five, because I'm on the, the starter plan, which allowed me uh, for five devices. So let me go now to devices, and you can see that the, the device with the ID that I um, set in the stage is now connected. So this means that this device is now linked to my account and is protected by an API key. So nobody else can access it. So let's try to see what happens if somebody actually tried to access it without the API key. So now in order to show you how it works, I will actually uh, call the API directly. Um, and I will call a command called ID, which is just used to pin a board. And for that, to show you really in, in a very good way, I could use my browser here, but I will just use like a dedicated software. You could perfectly use your browser to do that, but as I want to show you scenes in a very clear way, uh, I just type this command. So I'm trolling the cloud server. So that's a cloud API directly. I put the, like, the ID of the device that I want to call. And also I have this ID command here. And let's just send that to the cloud server. And as you can see, immediately I got a message saying that's wrong API key or API key missing for protected device. So definitely it shows that now if somebody, you know, got somehow um, the ID of your, your device, right? For example, you left it on online on some code, right? Or somebody just lucky and found the, the ID, then you are safe because they cannot do anything, right? Um, it won't allow you to do anything. I can actually try all the commands that will change something on the board, like, for example, a digital command, right? Like this, and I will get the exam same message. So now, how to use your API key, actually, it just go back to your account, go back here, copy the API key, and also here, I will just type the same command, but follow now by question mark key equal to that. And now you can see that the command works perfectly. So it returned the ID, the name, and the type of hardware of the board. And I can try also with other commands like mode, as I said before, or yeah, as you can see that when I type a mode command, uh, now I can actually control my pins just like um, without a key, right? But it's just because I put this API key here that allows me to access uh, my devices. So that's basically how you use the API key inside your IRS dashboard and account to protect your devices. So let me just uh, finish this video by showing you some additional stuff. So if you now go to dashboards and you actually add you would like to add something in there uh, with your device, right? I will just show you that uh, to see if my device is connected. So I will just quickly create a very simple dashboard. Let's add an indicator here. Um, so I will just draw it temperature because the, the, the board is actually has uh, like the temperature variable set inside the code. So I will just take my ID here put it here. And as you can see here, uh, I just need to add that it's temperature. Doesn't really matter here. I will just refresh that. Yeah, now you can see that it read the 24 degree because it's just a variable set inside the code. Uh, you could wonder why it actually works, right? Because I didn't set my uh, API key anywhere. Well, the dashboard actually knows what is your API key. So it will automatically detect that this device is protected and therefore make all the calls to the device automatically with your API key. That's why you don't have to set it anywhere when creating a dashboard. However, if you are using like your own code, your own applications to call uh, and control your devices, then you need always to put um, your uh, API key to make all the calls, otherwise they would be blocked. So this was basically um, how to use your API key to protect your iOS devices. So really, if you are doing any projects where 
you actually, you know, use the project from day after day, for example, to open your garage door. I know many people are doing that or to just control your home in general. Make sure to use APITs to protect your devices uh, because then only you can access those devices. Also, if you have any projects where you can uh, record data, make also sure to use APITs uh, to protect your devices because then anybody could access this data as well. So if you have any questions about what I showed you inside this video about how to use an API key for your devices or about ARS in general, make sure to leave them in the comments or just send us a message. And I want to thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.